My lupus began with a rash. When I was 14 years old, I had the typical butterfly rash uh, right across the bridge of my nose. From there, I went on to various other symptoms, including joint problems, I had night sweats, I had fatigue. Some of the more serious complications are nephritis, which is inflammation in the kidneys, and I've had a heart attack, which is a result of coronary artery disease. When I first found out that the lupus had affected my entire body, that it had taken over my brain, my liver, my lungs, my heart, and my kidneys, I was so shocked that one disease could affect someone so much and could take their life and turn it upside down in an instant. No one feels the devastation of lupus more than the families of patients. The Lupus Research Institute was born out of these frustrations and energized by the vision and hope of the scientific community. When the Lupus Research Institute was just a seed of an idea, government funding for research was static, and there hadn't been a treatment approved for lupus in more than 40 years. Over the last 25, 26 years, I've had the privilege of probably treating more than 3,000 lupus patients. I've also had the heartbreak of seeing six to 700 of them die. What's been particularly disappointing is that literally until the last year or two, every drug that I had to offer the lupus patient was the same drug that I had in 1977. When I was diagnosed, I was 11, and they immediately started me with chemotherapy and uh, prednisone and uh, blood pressure medication and Coumadin to thin my blood so that another stroke would not occur. The chemotherapy was pretty much the worst experience of my life. I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. The treatments that we have now certainly prolong life, uh, but they have very toxic side effects. And from immunosuppression to uh, infertility uh, and we clearly need to be able to uh, get therapies that are not almost as troublesome as the disease. In 1998, strategies for success were formulated with top lupus scientists from academia, government and industry. The LRI was developed as an imaginative and courageous enterprise open to new ideas and willing to take risks in supporting new science, new investigators, and moving research from the lab to the patient. I think the uh, Lupus Research Institute was very, very uh, uh, farsighted in developing these uh, novel research grants. I think one of the things that happens in science is that individuals have uh, a novel thought, an idea, a, a, an hypothesis, and they have a great deal of difficulty finding funding for that uh, until they've developed a lot of preliminary data. Small agencies like the Lupus Research Institute are nimble. They're able to rapidly make decisions. They're able to support work which might not yet reach the, quote, standard of the NIH, but work which is in fundamentally new, novel, work really in the long run, which will prove to be critically important for us to move forward. I think it's the winning strategy because the whole essence of discovery is we don't know really where we're going and we have to really let our discoveries and our scientists, the people really with the talent and the, under, the deep understanding of the disease, lead us where it may. Discovery is the new thing. Discovery is I did something that no one else did before. It has to be imagined, not managed. We put up a radical hypothesis that lupus nephritis is a T-cell mediated disease and which was funded by the LRI. If our hypothesis is correct that entry of T-cells into the kidney is important for lupus nephritis, it opens up uh, new avenues for therapy. I think it's very important that such ideas are supported. We saw this phenomena through the microscope one day that had never been described, and that was, to my mind, potentially very important and fundamentally different than what was in the literature. And I just wanted to understand it. So it's that observation that falls outside the norm. It's that observation that falls outside the box that you were taught. And then you understand maybe the box is really over here as opposed to over here. And it, it starts very simply, just wondering why is that? And that's, that's really forms the basis of most of my science. Lupus is a very complex disease. 
Uh, and we want to get at it at many different levels. We want to understand why it's happening, its mechanism, because that's how we're going to get new drug targets. So we have to take uh, just a multitude of different approaches, um, from the organ uh, specific approaches to the basic immunology and everything really in between. We have to deal with basic science. If we don't, we will never get new drug targets. We'll never get new therapies. It typically takes uh, five to seven years just to even see an impact of research. So I think it's remarkable that we are getting so many of our investigators that are taking their discoveries and turning them into NIH funding. It's an organization in the best sense um, put together by individuals who are advocates, often individuals who in their own families have the example of how bad the disease is, but individuals who recognize there is a great need, who have a sense of impatience. I took the initiative in the year 2000 of forming a group known as Lupus LA, and the purpose of the group was to take the strengths of our community, which is the entertainment community, and energize them to focus on lupus to raise money for lupus research. As being a member of the LRI, uh, this has given us the opportunity to be a unified voice for lupus patients. It gives us the opportunity to collaborate with other organizations, whether it be government, uh, pharmaceutical, uh, just being able to generate awareness as um, one voice for lupus patients. Grappling with lupus is not a, if we use an analogy from athletics, is not a sprint. We're not going to solve this in a hundred yard dash. But I don't want it to be a marathon. As long as I can live a full life, full and productive life, and if they can have medicines that, that help me do that, that's what I'm, I guess I would wish for.